I, oh, I pull up, I'm moving too smooth. I, oh, I pull up, I'm moving too smooth. Yeah, I got colors, I got heels. I feel like Jizzy, I got views. I use them baby like a mules. Play them like the ones and twos. Bow! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Chad Arms, aka Chetty Bobby. All in booty! And we are back with another men's fragrance haul for you guys and gals today. This is going to be a cheapy, super, super cheapy fragrance haul. I've got seven pickups to show you guys and gals, and it was less than 60 bucks. Seven pickups for less than $60. I went out and about um, with my girl today, and we went to rack stores. We went to the mall. We went to Burke's Outlet. We went to Gabe's Outlet. We went to a bunch of different places. And I got a bag full of goodies. So we're going to get right into it. But before we do that, I wanted to give you a, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for notification. We're giving you daily uploads. Um, sometimes twice daily. Like the gas station, baby. Let's get it. Woo! All right. So the first one I'm going to show you is one that I picked up from Gabe's Outlet, which is a lot similar to Burke's. Um, it's just a rack store, a discount rack store kind of. It's similar to like Ross or anything like that. They didn't have much at all. They had a ton of stuff from this particular line. And I picked up one, and that is Playboy Play It Wild. Now, I've heard multiple things about the Playboy fragrances. Um, and this one, I think normally is like 9 bucks on Fragrance Net. You see there, it was $5.99. Normally, uh, 12 bucks. So, this is a cheapie. Um, I've tested these. But we're going to test them again for y'all today. As I've got my paddles. We're going to soak them. Now, again, these are all going to be cheapies. This is what this is what the goal was today, was to find a lot of cool, cheap stuff. You know, and this is a good one. We're going to give it a shot, though. On the, on the, we just tried it out, just sprayed it in the air um, when, I bought, when I bought it. We're going to do the soak the paddle here. Again, the, uh, the, the notes in this one are nutmeg, cinnamon, tonka bean, lemon, and blueberry from 2015 I haven't had anything from Playboy I heard that Playboy New York is is really good there was one there but the packaging was different than the one on fragrance net so I'm wondering if it was like an older one I'm not exactly sure so we tried this one because I looked up the notes beforehand and this has got a really nice scent to it man a big reason I got it is because of the tonka bean note um, but the, the the nutmeg the cinnamon this is going to be a cool one to rock. Again, these are not all these that I'm going to show you are probably not going to have very good performance. That's fine. It's not what I got them for. Cheapies are are not meant to last long in my eyes. But this is a really, really nice smelling scent. You definitely smell that tonka bean and that cinnamon. But I think it smells good, man. And again, it was six bucks. Can't beat that. This will be a good fresh out the, the shower fragrance, especially in the fall time with those particular notes. But that is Playboy's Play It Wild. I dig it. All right, so Playboy Play It Wild is what I picked up from Gabe's. We then went to, well, we went to a bunch of different places, but we went to uh, Burke's uh, Outlet as well. Now, Burke's, uh, my girl has a discount card where it's 10% on Mondays, 10% off. She had a $5 certificate, and then on top of that, she had like a birthday month, 20, like 15% off. It's not even her birthday. I don't even know how they got that right. But um, so we, she let me use her card for it. And that I picked up uh, Lucky You by the Lucky Brand. This is one that I've been wanting to get multiple times on Fragrance Net. It's like fifteen dollars, sixteen bucks. You see there, it was fourteen ninety nine, but it was not. And it ended up being ten bucks, close to with that with all those discounts. This is a hundred milliliter bottle. Um, the notes in this one are it just says fresh citrus, and that's really all I look for. I mean, I've been wanting to get Lucky Lucky You for several months now just because i've always found it on fragrance and i always take it out of the cart last minute but this is a nice little citrusy fragrance man it's nothing outstanding it's similar to like a curve it smells way better than curve does to me the original curve at least but i dig it man it's nothing it's nothing outstanding but definitely one that i like and another one that's a good one to add to the cheapy collection and that is lucky you by the lucky brand this next two that I'm going to show you are also from um, from Burks. Now, we got Lucky, and these next two I'm going to show you for a total of $19, okay? These, I've only got one from this line, and I got it on accident. Fragrance Net sent it to me, and I didn't even pay for it. Um, they did that to me twice, actually, with some stuff. But it's Adidas, 
and that is Adidas Victory League. Now you're probably saying to yourself, why are you buying Adidas cologne, Chad? First of all, it's dirt cheap, and I love having cheapies fresh out the shower that only last a couple hours. This one I liked. They had all of them there, but I liked the notes in this one. You have cinnamon, lavender, musk, vanilla, and basil. This is from 2006, um, and you see there it was normally $6.99. We got it for like four bucks after the, the coupons and stuff. And you see there it's just a it's a uh, 100 milliliter, looks like. Yeah. So I like the notes in that one. Again, with Adidas stuff, man, you're not going to get a performer. I just want it to smell good the hour or two that it lasts. You know what I mean? That's all I want. And I really dig this, man. Uh, again, the vanilla, I like that note. Um, and, and then cinnamon, it musk. It's it's a different vibe of, of Adidas fragrance. It's not super citrus bait, you know, flavor. Um, Adidas Moves, which I didn't even order that one, but that's what the one they sent to me from Fragrance Center a few months back. That one smells good. It smells like straight up lemonade. This one's got a little different vibe to it, though, but I do really dig it. Um, again, these are 5 to $10, so don't expect a lot out of them. I'm not expecting a lot out of them, but it smells good, man. That is Adidas Victory League. This next one is one that I put in my cart multiple times. It's another one from Adidas. It's super cheap. Um, it was like 4 bucks and something. Normally, like, retail's 15 I think, but this was like 7 bucks with the coupons it was even cheaper and that's Adidas Ice Dive. This is another one that's 100 milliliter. Notes in this one are Anisi, Lavender, Mint, Kiwi, Mandarin, Orange. This one is from 2001. Now, I think it's cool because I've got three completely different styles of the Adidas stuff. Again, that's stuff that I just rock fresh out the shower or run in the store or something. If I don't want to have something too heavy on me. And hate all you want, man. Adidas do have nice scents. I mean, they're not going to last you long, but they smell good. And this one smells really good, man. This smells like you definitely, I definitely see that ice vibe because it smells like some lemonade, um, or it, you definitely smell that mandarin. The mint is nice too with it. But again, smells great. Gonna probably last you an hour too at tops. But I think it smells really good, and that is Adidas Ice Dive. All right, so the last three I'm gonna show you guys are. I didn't even know Rue 21 sold men's fragrances pretty much. I, I was clueless. Um, and my girl had mentioned it. And she was telling me about them last night. And then we went by there today and they had a ton of stuff. They had probably nine or 10 different fragrances that were exclusively Rue 21 fragrances. So we picked three up and it was only 30 bucks for three of them. And uh, they're all 50 milliliter bottles. This is the newest one that just dropped on Thursday. And that is Rue 21's Rue Sport. Um, this one, the notes in this one are lemon, sage, and sandalwood. As you see there, this was $12.99. This is a 15 mil or 50 milliliter bottle. This just came out uh, like less than a week ago. So I'm gonna do a review of this. After I, I'm gonna wear it as my fragrance of the day tomorrow. And I'm gonna do a review of it and upload it this week. Because this one, I'm really digging. I, did, I dug all, there was only like two that I didn't really think smelled that good. They had a lot of good smelling fragrances. They had one that smelled almost identical to uh, Paco Rabanne's One Million. But there you see, Rue Sport. Kind of gives you that vibe of like, um, Prada, like the Prada bottles, but I dig it. And again, you got lemon, sage, and sandalwood. So you definitely gonna have some citrus and that sandalwood. And then you got the spice in there. So you got a little bit of, you get three different notes in there. You know what I'm saying? Different style. I think this one, I, I we tested this in the store. I think this one smells very, very nice, man. This is a very nice fragrance. It does not smell to me like a $12 fragrance. It does smell like a hundred dollar fragrance, but they did a really good job with this one, blending those notes, man. The lemon and the sandalwood and the sage, they do a really good job of that. I think it smells really nice. Um, you definitely get the, the the citrus vibe, and I'm not expecting these to last me that long, but you almost get like a berry kind of scent out of it, like an amber berry type scent, but that's not any of the notes, but this one's really nice, man. So again, I'm going to do a review of this one. After I get a chance to rock it all day and see how I like it, that is brand new from Rue 21. That is Rue Sport. This next one is one um, that was also $12.99. It's, it's uh, Rue 21's 2020. This is the Spring Break Edition. This one is another 50 milliliter bottle. It's a woody and aromatic fragrance with notes of lemon, marine salt, and sandalwood. So this also has similar, similar notes, but it's also got woody and aromatic, it's in a woody and aromatic fragrance. So it's a really cool little bottle too. Um, 
This one has got, to me, just from the initial test that I had in the store, this has a very citrus. That atomizer is incredible, man. Holy crap. It's about small pack and a big punch, baby. Yeah, man. I really dig this one, too. Like I said, there was about 10 of them. And instead of... Oh, man, it smells good. Very fresh. Definitely can see rocking this, you know, as it, as one, and throwing it in my cheap aquatic uh, rotation. Smells very nice, man. Very citrus heavy. But the sandalwood also kind of brings it all back around, too. Smells completely different than Rue Sport as well. Even though the notes are similar, it's definitely got a different vibe. But I really like that one too, man. And again, $12.99, 50 milliliter. I dig it, man. That's 2020 Spring Break Edition from Rue 21. This last one was only 10 bucks, 50 milliliter bottle. And I love this one. I, this is my favorite one that I smelled in the store. Um, and that is hashtag Rue for him. This one was only 10 bucks, 50 milliliter bottle. This one is really nice. Um, and I'll show you the bottle. Really cool little bottle, too. Like just something different. You know, I like it. Stand, it kind of stands out. It says this one is um, lime and grapefruit. It also has cinnamon, mandarin blossom, jasmine, tonka bean, patchouli. So you got a little bit of everything with this one. Now, this one, again, very very cheap. And that's the, the, the standard price is 10 bucks, which they, Which is crazy because a lot of these fragrances... That you'll see like American Eagle or Abercrombie or Air Apostle. They're like 30, 40 bucks for these. And they don't smell as good as a lot of these Rue 21s do. And triple that one on each side. But again, this is hashtag Rue. Like I said, there's a lot of different fragrances, uh, fragrance notes in this one. This one is a, this one is super like aquatic, man. I love this one, son. You definitely smell that mandarin. I don't smell the cinnamon really off the rip. You mainly smell like, you definitely smell the tonka in there. But this one's blend is very nice. Now again, even though they don't smell super cheap, they don't smell super expensive. You can tell that they're synthetic fragrances because they're so cheap. But they don't smell, they smell just as good as a lot of these 30, 40, $50 fragrances you'll find anywhere else to me. Um, this one smells really good. I'm interested to see how this one smells on skin because this one right here is a very nice smelling fragrance. And again, it's 10 bucks, man. If I had to su suggest one, I like all three of them, but I'm leaning partial to this one just off the first impression. It's hashtag Rue. Um, but again, man, smells great. So we spent $30 in Rue 21. We spent $19 in Burks and we spent $6 at at Gabe's. So less than 60 bucks. We got seven pickups, seven different style, but all cheapies and just more to add to the rotation, the collection. I look forward to, to checking these out, you know, on my daily, my weekly rotation, try to factor some of them in and um, see, how, see how they turn out. You know what I mean? But I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Be sure to comment in the, in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of it. Do y'all have any of these? If you do, what do you think of them? Um, what else do y'all want me to see me pick up? We got another big haul coming in from FragranceNet this week that I'll be doing a haul for probably Wednesday. Um, we'll be uploading that. I got a bunch of reviews on the way. Got some more fragrance lists. We're just continuing to keep this content going for y'all, okay? So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit that bell for notification. And always remember this. I got three things to tell you. Love, peace, and hair grease. Woo!